Okay, well then he will um, teleport away. A teleport. Oh, nice. Is this uh is this a defensive cast or is he using Yeah, that's with the twenty nine. Ah. Is casting defensively still just like a flat D C twenty? No, it's fifteen plus the uh spell level. Oh, ah, okay. But he was plus nineteen and his total would have only been eighteen, so he didn't have much chance of failing it. I craft a twenty four to detect which spell he's using. Same as the one I saw earlier from Sorel, like the teleportation. Oh, he actually cast it. He, yeah, he cast it, so it's very easy to determine that he used Dimension Door. That is actually his Sorcerer Bloodline ability. So, how many spells do you guys have on you? Technically all of mine. Uh, 17 points left to use them, uh... Are you asking if you want us to rest, or...? Well, I, no, what I'm thinking is, if, let's say they cast their buffs recently, if we wait a couple hours and then start hunting them down, most of their buffs should be gone. I don't rely on the spells all that much. So... Um, or we can just doing? keep pushing and trying to figure out where they went, but every I, time I... we step into a room, it's a trap. I kind of don't want to give the caster time to spread word about us and prepare again, even if it's getting the others to prepare. That's my only concern. If we chase, you mean down, like he, what he's doing right now by just every time we defeat somebody, they teleport out and start talking to other people. We've got dead on the ground, and they've got plenty of time to rest. He'll be fine. It's a flash rate. I uh, oh. I, I will attempt to use a healing kit on Elf. <laughs> he's dead, Elf. He's super dead, but uh, Yinwick, Ready. you uh, take 21 points of electricity damage. Save for half. Uh, okay. Do we see what just happened? I don't. You see a, lar uh, a bright flash in the room, but uh, you guys are currently looking in the other direction. Fair enough. I, can only, I can't see past the wall. Any scorch marks of electricity on the wall? Um, let me see. Nope, because it wouldn't go far enough. I think for Aaron, he would associate that as coming from the other way in and hitting the wall. And he's just cold, close enough uh, to use a zero level spell. So he will hit Yinwick with. Press the digitation. Um, I'm going to go with a, an electric jolt since electricity just worked really well. Uh, it did just work really well. You would see he has mirror images. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I mean, yeah, of course I do. <laughs> Yeah, obviously. <laughs> obviously, we knew you knew that, Jimmy. Don't worry. We knew you knew that. Of, of course, course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's terrible. Oh, well, then he will use his zero-level spell to get rid of your mirror images. Boom, mirror I image see. gone. What? My mirror image takes one in the throat. In the face. And unfortunately, that's all three of my actions, so we're on to Yinwick. With seven hit points left. Yeah, I'm not a fan. You're not a fan of being a uh, dry roasted barbecue uh, rabbit? Uh, does he have mirror images again? No, he has displacement. Ah, so he hasn't actually, like, gained any Oh, sorry. No, he does not have it displacement. Um, I was going to cast displacement, and then I hit you with a lightning bolt instead. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to glitter dust him. Uh, so make a will save. Well, you can roll your spellcraft first. You just got hit with 21 points of electricity damage. Oh, yeah. So that's what, 21 plus what now? Uh, 10 plus 21 plus the spell level. That's a pretty high uh, check. 
Uh, I can lock it. Yeah, you can if you have a luck left. Your luck's six, isn't it? I don't feel like he's going to fail that save, though. There's no save uh, for Glitter Dust, is there? Yeah, it's a will save to avoid being blinded. Oh, the blinding. Um, I mean, Glitter Dust will keep you spot. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll plus six lock that to, uh, to, make, uh, to make the concentration check. What's the will save? Uh, DC 19. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, blinded for eight rounds. And also all sparkly, so he can't turn invisible. And I'll try and move over there. Because I presumably saw other people doing so. Gonna move over here where the healer is. Yeah, where the healer runs away. Oh yeah, lightning. Where is he? He's. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll. I'll say he's in the. I, I. Do I know like cardinal directions? Probably not. I'll say he's in the further corner. Furthest corner. As I say, for my big ass, that's probably both the spring. <laughs> I cover up half the room. Well, the the furthest like of the cor of the rectangular room. Uh, this is my turn. Okay, then we are on to Aaron. Um, how badly do I want to do this? Um, fairly. But Yenwick looks fucked up. So, do I take damage this round? No. You did not. Uh, Yenwick is now behind the wall of force, so he's nice and safe. Hypothetically. That's true. That's true. I don't have to worry about him. Um, so I guess I'll just do a heal check. We're gonna do the free action one, so it's a DC 30 just to get anything. You get two points. Nice. Something. Um... Yeah, um... Ah! Yeah, yeah, I can do this. Okay. Uh, that's going to be, give or take, an extra 20. Uh, I'm just going to round up. Yeah, we'll say 50 feet here. And... I don't see any more spells on him than he had before. Anything obvious? Uh, so, no. I don't think he had anything that was obvious other than the mirror image. That's true. Uh, I assumed the stone skin after Tom hit him, but that was about. Yeah, you probably would have noticed when Tom hit him that he hit a stone skin. Okay, so not seeing anything else. We're gonna charge. Uh, that is a twenty-seven to hit. I rolled a natural two. Do I want to look? I am out of luck. No, that's fine. Um, no, I don't. What I'm going to do instead is... This is the last creature that I know of, right? Everything else except for Sral has been pretty much taken care of, I think. No other combat's going on. So let's use the Celerity spell to give myself a standard action to try that again. Why wouldn't you just use your luck? Because I want to go for the crit, <laughs> honestly. No, that's fine. It just you're going for the you might miss too. No, you're absolutely right. But if, if I can I crit, it'll be what level is celerity? Uh, four. That's a lot of spell power. It is, but I thought you I, were I out of celerities. Didn't we have this conversation last time that the reason you couldn't do something last time was because you'd used your celerity? D uh, did I? I th I thought I would have made a note when I used the lock. Um, no, that's there was fair. a time he couldn't use celerity because he was already casting a spell, I think. Or no, that was Sarah, I think. Well, no, I, I, I have no recollection, but I will take that. Um, do I want to hit then? He's already moved. 
No. I haven't hit him once this game, so I'm going to bank on the fact he's underestimating me. So I'll, I'll, I'll just take it as is. I'll just heal up. Uh, that was the move. That was that. Swift action. Cure minor myself, and that's it. 1d3 plus half, right? Yes. I'm just going to bank on him not trusting me. Not having, not believing in me. Big brute. I'm a, I'm a big dumb brute. I mean, he's a wizard. That, that's fair. Yeah. Corey, you're up. Um, I'm just going to run and grab another drink while you're do taking your turn. Got it. Seven, 20, 25. I think I need to. I know a spell I need to grab in the future. <laughs> now I, uh, I wait for him to make a dex check <laughs> or a reflex save. Yeah, twenty point stone skin. Uh, I'm really just trying to save that last luck I have for a crit. Makes sense to me. Close. That's four die. That means the DC is twenty-two. Blow all my power points into this thing. He's eleven. I will have five power points when I'm done with this. I'm actually. I'm gonna be uh, hitting it with my fists here in a second. You get, part, get that extra haste attack. That I have empathic. That a couple times. Don't yeah. fight fists. I have empathic transfer, but it's mind affecting. So that consistent damage isn't isn't much against the mage here. Mind effect doesn't work on undead, or does it? Nope. Mine work. I am a I'm a telepath. Most of my spell, I like he was like, you're fighting undead. And I was like, I want to be the thing that doesn't work against that. So here I am. You go, girl. Right, then it's so, uh, Tom's turn. Oh, no, it's 22 reflex save. For uh, energy push. Oh, oh, I thought you were at a point. That's 17 more. That makes the save, so he does not get knocked back, unfortunately. Five, yes, 5d6 sonic damage, minus four. So 14 points of damage, and I have five power points left. Curious question for future reference. Does Glitter Dust defeat Mirror Image? That is a good question. I'd have to read both spells. But I would think um I would think not unless you cast it during the uh whatchamacallit illusion. Like if you cast mirror image now, these mirror images would have glitter dust on them too. Yeah, that's fair. I guess whenever he got glittered, his images would probably like update the same way they do with like fireballs or whatever. Yeah, basically. You're up, Tom. All right. Don't forget to put your damage on him. Damage on who? On the mage. For Corey. Oh. For everybody who's done damage to him. Oh, I didn't put my five on him. Oh, no, wait, he had a shield. Never mind. Yeah, so you take it off his shield. 14, I had my last one either. What did I roll? Let's see, this is six points. Five. Halved. So two plus 14 is 16 points of damage. Um, 75. That ends my turn. I love dwarves. Quick, dimension door to the other side of the room now. Uh. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think I'm out of fourth level spells. 
I think he used his Ice Storm, Stone Skin, and Dimension Door. Oh, maybe he's got one left. That's what he used, like, last session. Yeah, sure. um, I don't think I've used any spell more than once, so I technically still would have a slot left. My fourth spell is Wall of Fire. Will we not Wall of, like, Ice or something? <laughs> we should need them. Wall, yeah. <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> Put a oh uh yeah he used the wall of uh cold last time the first time you yeah in the first fight before you guys joined um he put a wall of uh cold across the uh, doorway and it was like right through Aaron and the rest of the party just moved away from it and Aaron just cast uh, resist cold and went through it. Sounds about right. I know how to miss that fight. Yeah, I think that was the session before you joined. It was the what the room with the ogres in it? Oh, this guy is this guy has been plaguing us for some time now. No, this is like the third or fourth uh, skeletal mage they fought. I think that was the first one, the very first undead encounter. Oh, I rolled atrocious initiative. initiative. Everyone rolls it. Around. Just barely. Okay, select my token. Well, this may not end well. Because I don't think I have anything that's going to help me at this point. I really should have cast the displacement instead of barbecuing the rabbit. Actually, yeah. Just couldn't resist. Well, the thing is, I, I went to cast... Sweet, savory rabbit, smoked rabbit smell. I went to cast displacement, but I had to use a metamagic feat. And I don't have access to sixth level spells, so I couldn't use... Um, a third level spell. That's why I went to Lightning Bolt. But I'd already started working on it at that point. That's why I had the image on there. And then I realized after that and didn't take it off. Okay, I mean, it Aaron. wasn't a bad decision because you do remove Yenwick from combat pretty much. So it was objectively decent because he was effectively dead, but still. Especially since he ran to the two healers who both immediately abandoned him. <laughs> Wait, it's me and who, who's the other one? Uh, Tom can cast spells. That's true. I've actually only seen face healing, but that's true. You should convert to something. Uh, natural 5. It does hit at least for 23 points. And take away 10 or 20. And uh, don't forget the 3 for his DR. I did forget. Plus 3. And let's try it one more time. Natural one. You go, girl. He he does he hasn't gone yet, so it is better to make that hit. Uh, that is low damage then. Um, yeah, but that won't be a hit. The other one was a two. That one's a one. Yeah, but but the. If I luck it, it would hit. It's decent enough damage, I guess. That's my last luck. Uh, yeah, I'll just make it hit. So, minus 23, so 15. And minus 20 to this. And I have a swift. Heal myself, I guess. Cure minor. And no one's really injured within my reach, so that's the turn. 
I have lots of open wounds, but none of them are bleeding. Actually, all of them are bleeding. I don't know how temporary hit points work. I imagine it's just like more blood in your system. You got more blood to bleed. Yeah, effectively. Do you currently only have temporary hit points? Um, I Because you're supposed to lose your temporary hit points first. Uh, yeah, I have like 26 hit points. Uh, well, didn't he use... I thought he got got to zero hit points, but then he used Vigor. So, yeah. um, have you there been healed to you take him. damage? Yes, yeah, someone healed me. It was okay. Never mind. Mind. You healed him with your Radiant thing. Mm -hmm. had, that is so true. I got 26 hit points is what I had after I was healed, and then I tempt it. Or I, uh, yeah, tempt it. Okay, you know, if you're up. Um... Probably just ready in action for if he tries to poof to me again. Does force strike get affected by shield? Like, does it? Does shield absorb the damage if it's, as if it was magic missile or no? Um, that's a good question. Does it say anything about it in the description? I think it's the shield spell that says it, right? No, in the force, uh, force strike uh, description, it'll say whether it's blocked by shield. No, it does not. Okay, then it's not. Uh, I guess I, I feel like that's the best I can do. Oh, no, I have Lightning Bolt. Yeah, already uh, Lightning Bolt in case he poofs back here, and I'll just kind of just kind of watch. Okay. That's my turn. Most excellent. He will, in fact, poof back there. Lightning bolt! Okay. Luckily, he is not immune to electricity. I honestly don't remember. Uh, that's a DC 19. I gotta say, you chose a really bad time to ask that question. I, I honestly, honestly don't remember. remember. You want to draw Why your lightning bolt on the board? Did he make his spellcraft, though? Yeah, he, he was. I mean, I don't really think he can fail unless he rolls like a nat 1. I mean, I just hit him for... Like 20, uh, 20 plus 15, 35 points of damage. Oh, all right. Yeah, he used his boots to get across the room. Uh, Man, I tried. I really did. <laughs> Sorry, what's your save and how much damage? DC 19. Did? All right, I need to roll damage. Hey, uh, 23 electricity damage. Okay, he takes all of that. He does not have anything that stops electricity. I return the favor. Which begs the question, what is he trying to do here? What is the mage trying to do? Yeah, because he took all that damage, so is he going to cast? or? Well, he can't cast now. He just took a lightning bolt and two other hits. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I, I thought he would, like, retreat, but... He did retreat. He retreated behind the wall of force that now everybody has to run around. And he's alone with Yinwick, so whoever wins initiative uh, lives, and who fails on initiative dies. Uh, Corey, it's your go. Okay. I'm going to run back up. Uh, probably going to punch this dude 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Keep in mind, you can't see him. Um, I'm assuming he's gone. Like, I Even if I had not seen where he had teleported, I'm assuming he's gone back up, and I also heard a lightning bolt just crack off in the middle. So. Fair enough. Um, actually, also, one a, more... a very brave uh, rabbit-like yelp as well. I got one more... Uh, it's a DC 18 dex. Uh, I will make this electricity. Is it the first one? Oh, he... sorry. He, uh, his move action will be to drink his potion. Okay, now I understand. Now that makes sense. His move action and attack? He drink a potion. One. Sorry, I forgot about that. Um, 
so did he roll a 15 for his dexterity save? He rolled a 20 for his dex save. 15 was versus lightning bolt. Ah, I see. Then he makes it, which is plus... Oh, it's plus two to the save DC, which is 20. Which Does he meet it or fail? He meets it. He got a 20. Uh, 2d6. Lightning. Does anything off? Plus my investor level with the power of overcoming resistance to that. Oof. Six points of lightning damage. It occurs to me this is actually the only time this mage has failed initiative. So three points. Yeah. Or wait, I don't think it's a top. Is it? It's not sonic damage. Or oh, actually, he did make the save. My bad. You're absolutely correct. Sixteen. Was there a reason you were doing sonic damage? Um, Sorrel was had immunity to electricity damage, or a overwhelmingly strong resistance to where there was I could not do damage with electricity. I don't have his sheet open, but I think he just had uh, energy resistance on. But he has 30 because of his caster level. Yeah. Should be my turn. Okay, then we're back to Tome. You got this, Tome. You got your cardio in. I was just going to say that. He's getting his cardio. Oh, it's not half. It just means they don't take the bludgeoning. I see. Oh, I see. 57, 53, because of the old other damage to play, actually 54. And. He was at 63, and then you put 6, or what? Which means. I don't think I have that. I don't understand what it means. That is my turn. Oh, wow, you get right beside him. That's not good. Might have to waste my standard action again. The next turn? Next round, yep. I will roll with a plus nine. And all the big luck users are out. So what you're saying is now would be a good time for a Dispel Magic because you don't have any luck left to block it? So how was your day? You know, we really didn't ask. I, I feel like we should take some... And how does the Spellcaster you know that? You don't have any luck. <laughs> well, I was just talking about the initiatives for you know, to oh. go above. Let's see. I don't know if you were there for that, but there was uh, one fight where Aaron used like three or four of his luck in the first round to make all of the Dispel Magic checks fail so that he didn't lose all of his buffs. That may have happened, yes. And it was quite disappointing as uh, he had a shit ton of spells on and I, yeah, I had a hard spells. time beating him too. He had like 10 spells and it took everything. So are you using luck for initiative or no? Is there, no, no one has any luck anything? left. Oh, okay. That was his point. All the big luck users have uh, burned their luck already. Okay. Uh, then he will five foot away from Toem. Because fuck that shit. Can't blame him. Trying to decide whether I want to do Wall of Fire or Displacement. I think Displacement makes more sense. And then he will hit Tome with uh, a pair of electric jolts. Ooh, a crit, and I assume AC 13 is not a hit on you. Touch AC. He's right. Okay. No, I think he's only taken one hit to his shield. 
Yeah, this feels still fine. Uh, but a 20 would be a confirm on that crit. Y yes. Okay, so you would take 8 points plus... Another 8 points, so 16 points of electricity damage. And that is all of his actions. Oh no, I guess he's still got a... Oh yeah, he hit you, hit you twice, so he's used all of his actions. So we are on to Yinwick. Uh, I will... I should have killed Yinwick. That was, would have made more sense. Uh, I, I feel differently about that. Honestly. You know, just in my unbiased opinion. It seems uh, very I... unbiased. Very unbiased. Uh, I'm going to use Sonic Snap against him. That's, uh... I must forget, that does five damage. And I think he gets to save for half and to avoid deafness, but he's got skeleton. Okay, so just note your damage. You doing anything else? Uh... Oh no, okay, it's just five damage. And then I will force bolt him. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing a nine does not hit even without displacement. Uh, no. I will move to the other side of the wall. Sir Robin, Sir Robin. Yeah, I'm over there. Okay, Aaron, you're up. Oh, he doesn't have any resistance to Sonic, right? No. Um, I don't think he has any resistances up at the moment. Uh, the only one he gets is immunity to cold. So is he actually immune to deafness or no? Uh, I think so because it's a, uh, uh, a phys actually I guess that wouldn't make any sense. He's got to be able to hear one way or the other, just like he's uh, got to be able to see. Didn't he get blinded? Yeah, that? that's what I was thinking is we just uh, declared that he was blinded. Um... And I'm trying to figure out if uh, if the deafness would work or if the blindness would work because he obviously wouldn't see with eyes. Well, so the glitter dust is like a bunch of bright stuff getting in your whatever you're using to see, but I don't know how that works with skeletons. The undead type is not immune to blindness and deafness. I don't know if skeletons are different. Yeah, I would. I'll say that it. They both work fine on him. So I'll roll the will. Is it will save or fortitude? We'll save. He just healed you to base. Nice. Yep. He's just like you're fine. Just a flesh wound. Walk it off. That's my. Cry it off, cry baby. My gratitude's. Okay, Corey, you're up. Says the, the nerve-riddled rabbit who has been zapped, uh, terrified under the surface and all that other stuff. He'll unsheathe the scabbard of his cane to reveal a rapier. I will attack him with a melee hit. Oh, yeah. All right. What do we got? Ah, a crit threat. A crit. <laughs> you, you know what's super sad? Is you need a crit to hit him. Hey. Roll, to confirm. Roll to confirm. D20. No. 15 doesn't make it. Unfort you know what? We take what we can get. Uh, it should just be a D6 plus my strength, which is 1. Yeah, so just 7 points. Rush dummy. Hey, a full 6 too. Well, you do max on a crit. On hey. a crit threat, you do max, yeah. And he has stone skin. 
Yeah, so the seven points will come off his stone skin. Actually, the first three points will come off of his DR, and the remaining four will come off his stone skin. Is it a magical rapier? No. So the first eight will come off of his DR, and then the remaining nothing will come off of the stone skin. Got it. <laughs> like a but you made contact. Yeah, you know, like it was a very kick. solid hit. Yeah, no, it, you fenced him. Yeah. You poked him. You, you it was impressive, it just was very showy. Uh, you technically have to roll a... Uh... Oh, you you have touch sight, right? Yep. So you're not affected by the displacement. Okay, oh. Tome, you're up. So Glitter Dust says it reveals invisible things, so I assume it also doesn't work with, with displacement. Yeah. I don't have dark vision, so I'm otherwise blind in this room. Oh, displacement doesn't work with it? Oh, uh, no, it's, it says visibly outlining invisible things, so uh, I think displacement does work with it. I think that goes back to the <coughs> illusion part of it. I think fairy fire would work. I don't know if glitter dust is like the same equivalent. Well, so it's a non... Uh, it, uh, no spell resistance, no conjuration. So, so it seems to apply to the caster itself. Not an area. I'm, I mean, it doesn't say it specifically stops other things besides invisibility. Whereas Where fairy, fairy fire, fire says, "Do not benefit from concealment, normally provided by darkness, uh, blur, displacement, that. invisibility." Yeah, yeah the dis the. Uh... Concealment aspect of uh, it would still function. Yeah, I think it's because fairy fire, you have to select an area, which means you can't just say, this person in my mind. Well, glitter dust is the same, but fairy is. fire is magical, I assume. Glitter dust is just like throwing a giant, obnoxiously bright ball of glitter at someone. Hello, by the way. So, 23 damage. Okay. So three comes off for his uh, DR, and then the other 20 goes on uh, his stone skin. When did he cast this placement? Last round. Oh, I missed it. Oh, no, you said Instead it. of murdering me, which I am fine with. Are you guys still, are we still fighting the witch? No, the Why lich was, you beat the lich last time. <laughs> we have no resources. <laughs> the real boss. He's yeah. teleporting like a cunt and wasting time. <laughs> I hate it. I mean, to be fair, he is undead. He's got all the time in the world. Yeah. This man might actually get me to old age. Alright, that ends my turn. That was three attacks, two misses, and one hit. Okay. Uh, then we're back to initiative. Uh, and I only healed you for eight hit points. Please tell me you guys didn't open the next door. Um, no, they're still fighting the mage that killed you. Oh, shit. To select it before I click the button? Are you, are you coming back? into the next door if you would like. Uh, please don't. Just, just let me know, man. I'm here to help I, you. Help I will help you. I will die from taking blunt damage, so don't. <laughs> Oh yeah, he has no DR, so don't throw him at things. Yeah, that's the reason I shouldn't throw him at things. Got it. So, with the, uh, are you using like the 2E weapon rule, or weapon rules, where um, a weapon affects your initiative? Yes. Yes. Do mages not have that effect? Uh, uh, no, they use the, the spell, spell level. level they're casting, which is weird with psionics, because you can yeah. augment first level powers. Does that so if he spends three power oh. points on a first level power, is that a first level or second level? Well, each time I roll initiative, do I need to decide what spell I'm going to be using that round? Yeah, that's yeah. really weird. Well, the way I do it, personally, is I usually just roll at my highest spell level, and if I change what I'm doing that turn, who cares? It's like another one or two points. I feel like that's counterintuitive to what it means to react to something. Yes, that's just Jesse cheating. Uh, I mean, he's, um, he's if just I'm cheating. So that... negative, if I'm rolling at my highest negative, like, how's that cheating? 
Mm. Well, no, like, like I think the like the system itself doesn't make sense because if you're reacting to something like it's not like I choose like in the moment for the purposes of like how it works mechanically like you roll at the top of the round so unless anybody is rolling like because you can't roll on reaction to something because you'd never know who's going in initiative you have no set circumstance to decide what you're doing and when the game is so reactionary as a or as a strategy game you you can't well, do it. it the counter work. argument is like if if you imagine like just chanting alone for a high level spell is a lot more focus, right? It takes more time to cast a spell, right? So you're slower. What he what he's cast. saying he's not arguing that a, lo a higher level spell should take longer to cast. What he's saying is that in the six seconds of the round things could change, and he would choose to do something different at that point. Yeah. The way that I interpret it is you don't each get six seconds. It is a total of six seconds for the round. And at the beginning of the round, you do what you're doing and he does what he does. And when your turn comes up in initiative, that's when your action happens. So that would be this... interesting to have some sort of style where it's like you predetermine your uh, like on behind a screen what your action is. And then you all go at once just to see what happens. Like everyone at the same time instead of going in order. You yeah, you can, you can do that. Um, there are some spells that allow you to to know what other people are doing. Um, I forget what. I have a couple spells. of those. Yeah, there's a couple of precognition spells that will allow you to basically make your decision after you see what happens in combat, and in situations where we deal with time travel, because I've done this before, um, where someone does a divination, it's like, what will happen if we attack this ogre instead of negotiating? What I'll do is just play out the fight. Then you know what happened, and you can decide whether or not you want to do that, or go back to the beginning of the round. But uh, just for simplicity, like obviously there could be different things that come up in um, each round, but in a six-second round, it's basically taking you the whole round to do your actions. So you need to determine at least what one of them is, and the determining factor there is your swift or your standard action. So if you need to move, you can do that. If you want to use your swift action for something else, you can do that on the fly. But your standard action should be what your main goal is for the round. And that's what Toam said when we were discussing this the first time. I don't think you were in the chat at that point. But he was in the other room and he couldn't see the battle. So he rolled with his minus 10 for his sword because he was going to run up to the corner. And if there was a fight there at the corner, he was going to attack. But instead, he just used his standard action to walk into the room because the room's 80 feet long and the fight was at the north end of it. So he still suffered the penalty for having choosing yeah, his right sword, on. but he ended up using his standard action for something else. So strange because he didn't take a swing. So it's like, I don't know. Yeah, it's obviously an arbitrary system just to balance out the different types of actions like if you're the guy with the short sword you if you lose initiative to the guy with the great sword you don't get to do anything because he's killed everything in the room and that was literally the situation that spawned this uh rules my son was playing a uh cleric of tomorrow and fighting with the uh, short sword and the other player was using a great axe and uh, a court blade so the dwarf and the uh, elf and if he didn't win initiative, he didn't get to do anything because they would just cleave everything in the room. I think that's a power attack problem. Power attack cleave. Like, well, yeah. Obviously, there are a couple of different ways you could deal with it. You just limit the way uh, those uh, feats work as well. I just thought going first yeah. would make it easier for the guys who aren't going to cleave to still get to do something exciting and fun versus nerfing someone else's fun. Yeah, like the TW. I just fixed TWF, fix those feet taxes. Did you already fit? Actually, we'll talk about that later. I'm not, no a, I'm not a fighter, so it don't matter about feet taxes. Um, whose turn is it? Aaron's. 